So if you were so fortunate enough to get our new, as Twitch called it, the debt collection, it's not the official name, but our beautiful five new glitters. Uh, we had that a part of our, our recent Black Friday sale. Um, did amazing. So there's a bunch of you out there that have these glitters and you're like, what the heck do I do with these? Are you gonna help us? <laughs> maybe, maybe. I think I can help She's you. feeling generous today. I so. so I can't wait because I think this is one of our favorite glitters that I've we've come out with. So I am looking forward to seeing your design on this. I'm really excited to do this design because it is, it's using all of the different glitters, but it's something that if you wanted to just stick with one of the colors, you could do that mm -hmm. all the way through your set, or you can use all of them and it's a lot of fun. I like it. Let's do it. Okay, so today we're gonna do some fun designs with all of the new glitters that we got at the Black Friday sale. So hopefully you guys got some of these too. And we're gonna do some really fun, wintry kind of looking designs with all of our new glitters. Okay, so we're gonna start with our prep just like we always do. Pushing back our cuticles. I'm using the rounded edge of my magic wand. Push back the cuticles. And I'm just gonna do two nails for now and then we'll show you the whole design at the end. I'm gonna come in with my mandrel. We're gonna work around that cuticle area and then through the rest of the body of the nail. This is a medium arbor band just to lightly remove the shine. My speed on my electric file is between three to 5,000 RPMs. So you're at a nice low speed. So it's just gonna lightly remove the shine from those nails. I'm gonna dust off of our nails. And then we're gonna come back in with our swipe. This is our cleanser. I'm gonna put a little pump of that on my brush and then dust off the nail. It's gonna take care of all of the dust on the nail, any of the germs or bacteria that may be on the nail so we don't end up with any little green spots on our nail down the road. Next thing we're gonna use is our protein bond. And just like always, two coats of protein bond. We're gonna do one coat all the way through all 10 nails if you're working on a full set and then you're gonna come back through and do a second coat. So again, all the way through all 10. I'm gonna come back, and do my second coat on all 10. You wanna make sure that you're not flooding that protein bond up into the cuticle. That's why I start about halfway down the nail and then work back up to the cuticle. That way it's not gonna to get too much up in that cuticle area and cause lifting. I'm gonna put my forms on. For demo purposes, I'm gonna do one nail at a time so that our forms stick really well onto our practice hand. But if you're doing a full set, you can go ahead and put forms on all five nails. Or if you wanna do all 10 at the same time, you can do your forms on all 10 nails. I'm gonna take out that little tab in the center, place that right on the back. That's gonna give our form a little bit more durability so that when we pinch it together, it's gonna to be nice and sturdy. And pinch those two little silver tabs together as evenly as we can. And I'm just gonna open that up just a little bit more. On a practice hand, I usually leave that per perforation closed, but if you're working on a real person, go ahead and tear it open. And I'll slide that right up underneath that nail and secure down on the sides. Now I'm gonna be doing a coffin shaped nail, so I'm gonna pinch that form together at the end. If you're doing more of a square or anything like that, go ahead and leave it open. But for a coffin or a stiletto shaped nail, go ahead and pinch it. Okay, so on the design I'm gonna do today, I'm actually gonna use all of our different colors. So we've got five new glitters, super pretty, really bright, vibrant glitters, and then a couple of other softer glitters. So the demo I'm gonna show you today, I'm gonna to use our green and the gold, and then the other three I'll use in a little while. Okay. I'm also gonna add in a demo with our, just our really fine, it's almost a sheer glitter, but it's really pretty. We're gonna mix that in with our, um, our core white and give us just really a snow kind of a look. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a little bit of our cover white. So the cover white is gonna be just a softer white. It's not gonna be that bold, bright white that I would normally use for, say, a French manicure. I'm gonna start that right up at my cuticle area, press that out at the cuticle, let it kind of flow down the nail just a little bit, 
And then I'm just going to lightly feather out the edge of it. I don't want a whole lot of that white right at my stress area. I want to have a little bit more glitter in that area. So that's why I'm just lightly blending it out. And you can almost see that natural nail still just barely showing through, but I've got the white covering back towards my cuticle area. Next, we're gonna come in with our Speed Clear. And I'm gonna build out my extension with the Speed Clear. So I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna pick up a smaller pearl. I'm gonna drain out the liquid out of my brush so that now when I place that product on the nail, it's not gonna run down the form. I'm gonna wipe out my brush, I'm gonna press through the center of that, press that product out to the side, and then I'm gonna use the edge of my brush to tuck in, and then press up into the corners. Same thing, press and tuck. And bring just a little bit more product over to my side, press in, and tuck up into the corner. I'm going to come back across, press out that product, press in, and then up into the corner. Notice I'm not pushing product, I'm still pressing. If you start using the tip of your brush and pushing into that corner, that's where you're going to get product build up in your brush, and then your brush is going to get sticky. So you want to make sure that you're using the brush to press, not to use the point and push. All right, so we've got our extension. Now, here's where you kind of have a choice. If you want to, you can actually mix your glitters and use one of our clear mixing jars and go ahead and mix your product in there. I'm actually gonna show you a technique today that I like to use if I'm doing maybe just one nail as a dimension nail, so I don't have to mix a whole entire container of my, my glitter. So this is gonna be our glitter, and I'm gonna just make sure that that's really well mixed together because this glitter has a lot of different dimension to it. There's a lot of different shapes and sizes of glitters in here. So I just wanna make sure that's really well mixed up so that I get all of the different shapes in there. Okay. So I've got my green and I've got my gold. And I give my nail just a little bit more of a pinch just to make sure I get a good tight curve to that nail. Now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna pick up a small pearl of my Speed Clear, and then I'm gonna just dip that into my green glitter. Now because I already have a layer of clear down, we're basically gonna sandwich that glitter between the two layers of clear. So again, if you're working just one nail, you know, doing one dimension nail, and you don't wanna mix a whole entire container, this is a great technique. So I'm just gonna press that out I'm going to turn my brush around and just kind of feather out the edge of that green. Okay. Just to kind of blend that up right up to the smile line. Okay. Now if I feel like there's maybe a spot that's missing a little bit of glitter, I can again go back, take just a tiny little bit of my clear, grab just a little bit more of our glitter. So if you feel like you need to touch up a spot, go ahead and touch up a spot. Okay, now we're gonna go into our gold. We're gonna do the same technique. I'm gonna pick up a small pearl of my clear and then just press it down into the gold glitter so that way it picks up the glitter onto the acrylic. We're gonna press that down onto the nail and again, it's gonna kind of sandwich that glitter between the top layer of acrylic and the bottom layer that we've already got. I'm gonna just blend out the edge of that I'm gonna add just a little bit more of my glitter. My product is still wet enough where it's gonna pull that glitter into it and kind of absorb it in. So I'm just gonna to touch up a couple of little spots there and then I'm gonna blend out that back edge of it. All right, I think I've got my blend about where I want it. Actually, I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more product a little bit more gold right up into the edge here. Okay, so now that really blended out nicely. Okay. And I'm gonna come back in with my core white. And again, it's a little bit softer. 
It's not that really bold bright white. But now I'm gonna overlay. I'm actually gonna overlay from here, from the cuticle area, till just where it kind of comes over our glitter blend. Not down into the gold and green, but just over where the gold comes in. And then I'm gonna feather it forward. So again, we're gonna come in with our core white. I'm gonna press that down at the cuticle. And by having that extra layer underneath, it's gonna give us a really good solid coverage of our white back by that cuticle area. Okay. I'm gonna just lightly feather out that white over my gold. Now, if you feel like maybe you got a little too much white on there and maybe you pulled too much forward, turn your brush around and just lightly pull that back. Okay. So we don't wanna to cover too much of our glitter. It's okay if you've got a little bit more of that white right over the stress area because we actually want that. We actually wanna build up that arch. Okay, so now we've kind of blended that white into our gold. Now, we do wanna cap the rest of this free edge because right now we do have that glitter and then the clear on top of it, but we wanna make sure that we really seal that glitter in so that when we do file our nail, we're not gonna file our glitter off. So I'm gonna come back in with just a small pearl of my Speed Clear, and I'm gonna drain out just a little bit of that liquid. I'm gonna turn my brush around. I'm gonna drop that right in front of my arch, right in front of that white. I'm gonna blend back so that it pulls it right back up to the arch. And then I'm gonna turn my brush back around and just feather it forward. This way we're gonna cap, cap our glitter. We're also gonna cap that seam. So between our white and our colors so that we don't file that out either. I think I need just a little bit more right at my free edge. So again, one more small pearl, blend it back. And now we've got our product flowing right up into that nice arch, nice and thin at our cuticle, a little higher through our stress area, and nice and thin at our free edge. Okay, so that's our first design. Our second design, I'm gonna show you another one of our really fun new glitters, but this time I'm actually gonna mix it into our mixing jar, okay? So this one is gonna be it's a, just a really soft, almost white kind of a glitter, a um, little bit of hints of color, a little hints of gold, but it's just gonna be a really pretty, kind of a snowy kind of a look to our, our powder here. Okay? So I'm gonna start with, a lot of times I like to use our Speed Clear to mix my glitters, but this time, because I want more of that wintry kind of look, I'm gonna go in with our Core White. Same thing that we've been using on the other nails. And when you're mixing a full jar, you're gonna mix or you're gonna fill that jar up to that first level with your acrylic and then you can mix the rest of the way with the glitter. I'm just gonna pour that in. All right. That looks about right. Okay, and then we're gonna mix A little bit more of our glitter right in. So I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but you can really see all of the different colors of glitter sparkling in there and it looks just like the snow is falling. And yes, I'm from Minnesota, so that's why I like the snow. Okay, we're gonna give that a shake. Roll it, shake it, however you like to mix your glitters. Really make sure it's well mixed. All right, I'm gonna open this up. We'll take a look and see if the glitter is enough. If we wanna add more, just pick up a pearl and I can start to see a little bit of that shimmer to it. And I like to do a little, little circle right on the cap just to kind of tell what my glitter is gonna look like because sometimes, especially when it's white like this, you can't really tell when you put it down on your paper towel. So when you use it over the black, um, the black caps, you're gonna get a really good idea of what it's gonna look like, okay? And I think I like that, so let's go ahead and do our second nail. Okay, same thing, I'm gonna put my form on. 
flip that tab on the back, pinch my two silver tabs together as evenly as I can. And we are gonna slide that right up underneath the nail and pinch our free edge closed. Okay. Now on this one, we're gonna do a full coverage of this color. Before we do any full coverage, I always like to go back to my speed clear and just do a really, really thin layer. So I'm gonna do just a really, really thin layer. I'm gonna pick up a small pearl. I'm gonna drop that at my cuticle area, press that out at the cuticle, and then I'm gonna just feather it over the whole nail. This way, if you go to change out your design, when you change it, when you file off that design on top, you never have to file all the way down to the surface of that natural nail. So this way it just gives it kind of a barrier so that you don't end up filing down into that natural nail. Okay. So this one, again, we're gonna do just a solid colored nail with our glitter mix. So I'm gonna come in, pick up a pearl for my extension. I'm gonna drain out that extra liquid. I'm gonna press that onto our form. I'm gonna wipe out my brush. And again, by draining out that extra liquid, my product's not gonna run all the way down the sides of my form. Okay. Same thing as before. You're gonna press out from, one, from the middle out to the side. I'm gonna use the edge of my brush to tuck in that side. Okay. Come all the way back across the top, press that up in, and then up into the corner. So again, press, press, okay. tuck in your sides, and then come back across to smooth that surface. Now again, at this point, if you feel like you need to kind of clean up those edges a little bit, go ahead. Use a little bit more of that edge of your brush to really straighten those out. The nice thing when you're using the speed core is that you've got a little bit of extra time so that if you feel like maybe you didn't get your edges quite perfect enough, you still have a little bit more time to really work those into place. Okay, now I'm gonna come back in with a nice large pearl and I'm gonna go from cuticle as far down as we can make it. So I'm gonna drop that at the cuticle. You can see that I have the finger angled really almost straight down. So this way my product is gonna run down the length of the nail rather than running down into the sides or back into the cuticle. So I'm just kind of tucking those edges into the cuticle, into the sides. And I think that's about where I want my thickness. So I'm gonna lift up and then I'm just gonna feather out that free edge, or sorry, feather out the edge of my pearl. This way it just blends in. And then you can see from the side, there is a, there's a nice arch forming. So my arch is a little thicker right through that stress area. I've got a little dip right here. I'm just gonna come back with a little bit more of my mixture and we'll fill that in. This one again, I'm gonna drain out a little bit of that liquid, drop that down and blend up. Turn my brush back around and blend out the edge. Now something to be aware of, I actually just saw a little piece of my other colored glitter that ended up in that ended up in my white here. Make sure that you flip over your paper towel that you're wiping your brush on so that you aren't picking up little bits of glitter and dropping them where you don't want them. Okay, so this one, I'm actually gonna just leave it like this. I don't need to cap this nail. With this one, we had a little bit of a thicker glitter, um, kind of a chunkier glitter, and it wasn't perfectly mixed into our acrylic. We just wanted to make sure to put a clear over that so that we seal it. With this one, our glitter is a really fine glitter and it's mixed in completely with our product, with our powder. So this way we can just go ahead and file on that. It's not gonna change the design that we've got in here. It's not gonna change the color at all. It's not gonna file off any of the glitter. So we can just leave that one without capping it in clear. So I'm gonna do another nail with our teal color and then I'm gonna do another nail with our pink and purple. I'm gonna do the same exact procedure as I did here. Start with my glitter, add in my um, gold glitter and then cap with the white. 
Okay, so I'm gonna do all the rest of those nails. We'll file them up and I'll show you the final look. Young Nails is committed to giving you the best nail education in the world. Check out more of our videos, head right over here, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and do that by clicking right over here.